Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to talk about the holy trinity of lenses for sports photography. Now I made this video thinking as if you're shooting with a full frame camera. If you're shooting with crop, obviously the focal distance will be different in any of those three lenses so just keep that in mind the first lens is a 16 to 35 so at 16 you can get those really wide angle shots which is really good to showcase the stadium or the venue or whatever the place it is that you're at so you can get those panoramic shots it's also a lens that's frequently used as a remote camera whether that's for football soccer or basketball or whatever so it's used for that as well and it's really good for those celebration shots when you are really close with uh, the players and you cannot get back you don't have space to step back so if you need to a wider angle lens the 16 to 35 at 16 is really really good this lens also allows you to get to 35 millimeter which is the closest you can get to the human eye so what we see in the real world you can actually do that test just get a full frame camera get a 35 millimeter lens and look through the viewfinder with one eye and keep the other eye open and you'll see that what you're looking at is pretty much the same whereas if you're saying using a 400 mil just as an exaggeration and you're looking through the viewfinder what you see with one eye will not be the same that you see with the other eye so 35 millimeter is very classic because exactly that it's just very close to what we usually see with our own eyes second lens is the 7200 in my opinion the most versatile lens you can buy and possibly the best investment you can make if you're serious about sports photography uh, not just sports photography but photography in general this lens is probably one that will be in every professional uh, photographer's kit whether they're a sports photographer or wedding photographer or whatever this is just one of those lenses that people cannot live without and because of good reasons because of the quality of the image because of the focal distance and it's just one of those that fits a lot of purposes so it serves a lot of purposes so in my case the 7200 is usually used for the action that's closest to me when a game is ongoing and then for the action further away, I use the 400 mil. But again, if you wanna check out a video just about this lens, click on the link and I talk a little bit more about it. The final lens is the 400 mil, without a doubt the most expensive of the kit, but the one I use the most. Uh, the quality of the pictures are just out of this world. The compression and the bokeh it creates are just magical. And I'd say roughly 70 to 80% of the pictures I take in every match are taken with the 400 mil. So those are the three lenses I would consider essential or the best for a sports photographer. The 16 to 35, the 7200 and the 400. Now these three lenses do not cover the whole focal range because there's a gap between 35 and 70 and between 200 and 400 but you can crop so you can live with just those three lenses obviously if you can afford it then i'd get a 24 to 70 as well maybe a 300 mil prime you get the idea you can get other lenses to very specific needs but if you could only have three and you can pick which three you use for sports photography in my opinion these would be the ones that i would pick if you like this video don't forget click that thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you aren't already and until next time take it easy bye bye